What I'm going to do now is put together an identity map of myself. We've looked at an example of an identity map for someone else and the next step is to make your own. And it's an exercise that I think is nice to repeat at different junctures in your life because it's interesting to see how it changes. So I'm going to put myself at the centre here. Here we are. Here's me. And what I'm interested in doing here is capturing a lot of different descriptors of me which relate to the different identities that I have in different parts of my life. So I'm going to do lots of nice arrows out from the centre. There are different shapes that you could give to this. You could do it more as a list if you're a listy type person. I'd be interested to, to hear how different people tackle this. But I've put myself at the centre. There we are. And let's have a look at some of the people that I am. Uh, let's see. I think that one comes first because it's so immediate and instant and uh, part of every day of my life just at the moment. Um, other kind of family descriptors <coughs> come in here as well. I've got that one, but I don't have daughter on here anymore. I've done these diagrams a couple of times a year for quite a long time. And since my parents have both died, the daughter part of it isn't so immediately relevant to me. It sounds very heartless, it isn't meant to be. But, you know, I'm talking about how I really frame who I am within my own mind. So I'm very much somebody's mum, several people's mum, and very much several people's sister, and that's an ongoing identity. I remain the daughter of my parents historically, but it's not something that's really shaping me from day to day. So it's quite interesting to think about it in those terms. Who am I and how is that evolving and changing over time? Okay, so if we look at a more kind of professional type thing, we've got uh, someone who does a bit of teaching, someone who does a bit of research, and it'll be interesting uh, for yourself to look at where that aspect comes on your identity map, because really it's the research identity that we're, we're heading towards with this exercise. Um, for me, the researcher and the teacher <coughs> kind of inhabit the same quartile, if you like. They maybe uh, share some of the same uh, headspace within, within the identities that I have. Other kind of professional things. I do a storytelling act. And this is one that's evolved for me because for the first time in the past year, I've been paid to do it. So here we are. We're a professional storyteller, so that's quite exciting. You can start to nuance the things that you put on here uh, in terms of how things have changed for you and developed in your life. So when you're putting your own diagram together, you'll have trainee acupuncturist somewhere on there, which may relate to other aspects like maybe uh, research identity, maybe your identity as a reader and uh, different aspects of your beliefs perhaps. So it would be quite nice to look at how this diagram evolves as you move through the course because at the moment you are very much at the beginning of your training as an acupuncturist and there will come a day when you are at the end of it. And as you fall off that particular cliff, you can put a big X through the word trainee uh, and leave acupuncturist on there. So that's quite exciting. So doing this course is actually forming one aspect of your identity, if you like. So it's nice to think about what all those different things are in your life. Uh, some of them are, shall we say, a little bit plastic, a little bit mutable. So I'll, I'm always going to have runner on here because running is part of my identity and it's very, very important to me. But depending on, you know, how healthy I am, how much of that I've been doing and how hard I'm feeling on myself, uh, there may be times when the J word gets mentioned. Let's not, no, we, we, don't, we don't like that, we'll take that one out. Uh, and there may be times when, you know, I'm feeling particularly proud of my achievements here and, you know, let's just up it a bit and be Kelly Holmes for today. So this is the sort of thing I'm talking about. Think about the things that you are uh, professionally, uh, in terms of your family relationships, interpersonal stuff, your beliefs, the things that you love to do things that you do because you have to, and strike some sort of balance between all of those. And, and somewhere, I mean, I've put myself at the centre here. Perhaps you'll find yourself, you know, standing next to your identities instead. But uh, locating yourself in the web of all those different identities.